Hello students, in this particular video, we are going to discuss NCRT solutions for the chapter 11 that's mensuration. We are going to take here question number 8 from exercise 11.3 which is on page number 186 of NCRT. Right, so let's start the problem. The problem very simply says the lateral surface area of hollow cylinder is equals to 4224 cm square. Right, it is cut along its height and formed a rectangular sheet of width 33 centimeter right so from there also we can see okay we have to find the perimeter of rectangular sheet so we can see that the lateral surface area of the cylinder is equals to 2 pi rh the formula for that therefore we can also write the formula for the area of rectangular sheet as well that is going to be equals to length multiplied by the breadth or the width right so let multiplied by the width so in this case, we don't know the value of length. So, let us call the length is equals to L. So, area of this sheet which is going to be equals to L multiplied by 33. Okay. So, this is the area of sheet. But we know that the particular, that particular cylinder has been converted into that sheet. Therefore, the area of that cylinder would be equals to the area of that sheet. Therefore, 2 pi rh or we can say the lateral surface area of cylinder is going to be equals to area of rectangular sheet right so from there we get this implies that 4 2 2 4 is equals to length multiplied by 33 so therefore from there we get the value of length which is equals to 4 2 2 4 divided by 33 so from there we get the value of length which is equals 128 centimeter so from here we got very simply that what is the length of that sheet which is equals to 128 centimeter hence we can easily find the perimeter of the sheet since the sheet is rectangular so the perimeter is going to be equals to or we can say perimeter of sheet or we can write it very simply okay that is going to be equals to 2 times of length plus of width right so that is going to be equals to 2 times of what is the length in the case we already know the length which we have found that is 128 and the width is going to be equals to 33 so 128 plus 33 which is equals to 2 times of how much this is going to be equals to 161 which is going to be equals to 322 centimeter right so this is very easy to get from there the perimeter of the rectangular sheet okay perimeter of the rectangular sheet so this is the required answer in the particular problem. So this was enough for the problem. Let's meet in the next video with the next problem.